can get started, guys. Um, I like starting um, out with a, a, a Manjaro question. Um, one, because it's it's like top of mind for lots of different people. Uh, two, we have a ton of success stories uh, that are uh, with us in the audience. Um, you know, lots of people have lots of success with it, but we have heard about, you know, maybe some correlation uh, between Manjaro and ADD. Um, what's your thoughts on this? The question is, this came on Instagram. Why does Manjaro help with ADD? So, you, you know, this is a proposed mechanism. Whenever a new drug comes out, it's going to have an indication. And when you have an indication, you can bring something to market and it's indicated for that one thing. So with this, with, with all the GLP-1s and now GLP-1 and GIP, another gut incretin hormone, they're, they're finding out new things. So to indicate it for diabetes, because as you agonize the GLP-1, GIP receptors in the gut, insulin becomes sensitized, people lose weight, but also have a reduction in A1C because it works on insulin. It has a lot of different mechanisms because we're finding out that that hormone is not just in the gut. It's actually in the heart, which is why drugs like Ozempic and the newer ones, um, Mount Jaro might have that indication in the future. It doesn't have it now. Improves cardiac health, but it also too, we're finding out that, yeah, it is helping out with ADD. I've had a lot of comments and feedback from patients that it actually helps them feel more energized. My guess, and this is an educated guess, is that GIP receptors, just like GLP-1, live in the brain. And GIP has actually been associated with some ADD type symptoms or ADHD type symptoms. So if we're having a dysfunction with GIP and now we're agonizing it to work better, ADD and ADHD are going to improve. So much of that with psychiatric medicine is qualified by the DSM-5 criteria. So you're looking at, do I fit a certain number of symptoms and a certain number of situations that has a decreased quality of life and does it affect my activities of daily living? So a lot of it's based on your subjective measures rather than objective measures like like a lab value. So my 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 answer to this would be probably because of GIP and that's what makes it different than any of the other um, drugs in that class that it hits a new receptor. And two, it's they call it the twinkerton because it's it looks like this and it hits both GIP GLP one, but it hits GIP way more than it does GLP one. That's why I think it helps out most with that. That's really interesting. Um, the way I would take it and what you're just saying is you'd still use it for weight loss. And this is kind of a side effect uh, where it might help with people's focus, that sort of thing. Um, is that kind of because you're not going to use it for ADD, I don't think. No. And so, too, I think that will be a future thing. In fact, too, if a Mount Jara rep were on here, he'd be like, wow, thank you so much, but it's actually indicated for diabetes and a secondary side effect would be for weight loss. It's going to be indicated for, it's already been fast tracked to be approved for weight loss, but all those become side effects of primary indication. I think they'll do more studies. They're finding out that a lot of these drugs that um, affect like diabetes, the pathogenesis for like diabetes and these chronic illnesses like improve the brain. And it makes sense to me too, because a lot of these things, why these drugs work, like why Mount Jara works for so many people without diabetes. And I explain this in the room a lot. There's mild age-related insulin resistance. Just it's, Insulin just doesn't work as well as you age. So when you make it work better, a lot of other functions become better too. That can be said the same way with the brain. The brain ages while you age too. And so if those receptors... Uh, we just don't hit them as much as we get older. So I feel like that that's probably why people are feeling more energy on it, are focusing better. I don't know if that will necessarily be an indication for a young person with ADD or ADHD, just because the stimulants work really well. It is interesting to note too, stimulants decrease your appetite. So does Manjaro. So there's, there's, some, there's some crossover.